Trent out loud, who has a boutique in Canada called Exclusivity. We are a national brand and uh, Canada's, you know, premier sneaker boutique and the only black owned uh, neighborhood account with Nike. And I had an idea to say, I'm going to change the, um, the structure of, of what tra traditional brick and mortar is. And I want to have my stores be more experienced stores where I'm pushing people to shop more online. Our stores were closed here, retail stores for a year and a half. I was more profitable during that year and a half than I have been in the past 14 years. Forget opening up stores as an experience, or I'm telling you my stores were shut down. That's proof to Nike that I don't need stores. Just support the approval that you gave me two years ago. Mm -hmm. And they turned me down and, and, tried to, and tried to force me to go back to a model that pushed me into going to a bankruptcy trustee. Uh, you know, it's I was days away from filing for bankruptcy. I was able to do what was told to me by every person, financial person that wouldn't happen because it was an unprecedented time. I came out of that and now you want me to go back to that because you think that you know how to heat the streets and, and create culture better than me. Listen to Street Politicians on the Black Effect Network on iHeartRadio. And catch us every single Wednesday for the video version of Street Politicians. 